Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a PO Box opening video um, and I just wanted to say that um, the, these videos have been less and less each time purely for the fact that I'm not sending a lot of pen pal letters out and I'm not accepting any more pen pals so I do really appreciate everyone who asks me um, but unfortunately I can't send any more out. I just simply don't have the time unfortunately. But let's jump right into this video. These are the letters that came in my PO Box over the last couple of months. So this one here is from Phelan from France and I really love the design on the front here. The collaging on it and just these little elements are absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And um, I got a new lens so a lot of my videos aren't going to be as out of focus as usually. Um, so hopefully that's going to be a benefit in the future. So let me move this aside. Pop that one over there. Now... What have we got here? Oh, they've got an Instagram. All right, I'll show you the Instagram a little bit later, but just so you can see. Yes, we've got really good focus. <laughs> As you can see, a beautiful stamp. Oh, this is so lovely. Bonus, I find these after Finn send the mail. Oh, how pretty are these? Very, very cute. Thank you so much. And then we have this one here, which is beautifully wrapped with this beautiful twine. And then, as you can see, the letters in here, and it looks like a little flip book with a little Mickey Mouse stamp on the front. It actually looks like a mini mail. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I really like the collages on here and look this is a real flower. It's so pretty. Then we got little goodies inside here. I really like the collaging on these ones. The next one here, again, really, really beautiful collaging. Who know you better than those lines? I think that's French because I can't read that. <laughs> These are so cute. I think these are handmade stickers. Let me just pop this down. How lovely. They're homemade stickers. So it looks like they've got like a sticker tag book. And then um, they've printed on it with moons and then wrote all over it. That's such a lovely idea. Thank you. And then next. Oh, so cute. So basically they've done more um, stamp prints. Oh, and there's little stickers inside too. Thank you. Oh, and there's a tiny note. <laughs> Look. Is that in focus? Tiny note. I'll read that one later. Oh, I'm really loving this. Thank you so much. And then on this side, there's washi tape samples. And then underneath, oops. There's this little date life card. Very, very cute. Oh, I'm really looking how close I can focus. So close. <laughs> oh, I love that. This is really beautifully designed. The letter is in here. So the letter's in here. And then on this side, we've got a T. Thank you so much for all this. It's gorgeous. So this is the Instagram. And I just wanted to show you some of the posts. Because they're beautiful and looks like a lot of journal spreads and then at the top it says looking for pen pals so if anyone would love to pen pal with you um, go check out that Instagram I think your style is absolutely gorgeous and yeah I hope you can make some new pen pal friends <laughs> thank you so much for the letter I'll read it after this video so these three are postcards as well as a beautiful letter. I'm not going to open these ones up on, like I'm not going to show you the content in these ones just because they could be private, but I just wanted to show um, for the people who did send them so they know it arrived. Thank you so much for sending me something. This beautiful one here is from the Netherlands, from Lotte. Um, again, there's an address on the back, so I won't show you. And I'm actually pretty sure that we've swapped letters before. I think so. <laughs> Let me just double check that. Um, 
This is a picture of my dog when she was just a puppy. Maybe you can use it to craft with, otherwise it's a cute um, picture. Enjoy. Oh, how cute! I hope you don't mind me showing this on camera. So cute, thank you. This bag is very, very cute. All right, what's inside of this little one here? Oh, lots of goodies. Hello, sunshine. Oh, this is from the Flow magazine. I love that magazine. Very cute horse there. <gasps> Just as they say Studio Ghibli, we've got a little dot or about. Oh, I'm gonna put my opal card in here. That would be perfect. Oh, and then a little pusheen. Very, very cute. Love it. Thank you for these little goodies. And then we've got an even smaller envelope. I really like how you guys get creative with your happy mail. <laughs> All right, some hair in there. Oh, I like the little Velcro patch. Oops, does that come out? No, I think that's the back of it. Oh, very cute, thank you so much. Thanks again for sending me all these goodies and I can't wait to read your story, your letter. Um, I actually realized that I get a lot of letters from the Netherlands. This is another one from Jasmine and someone actually made a comment in the, sorry, someone made a, um, yeah, a comment in the comment section um, stating that they didn't realize how much mail I got from the Netherlands and they can't find a pen pal from the Netherlands and they're actually from there. So if you guys are looking for pen pals, make sure that you, um, comment in the comment section if you're looking for some or follow each other on Instagram. That's a really great place to do it um, because I know that there's a lot of people out there looking. So let's see what's inside. And this letter actually came a little while ago, um, but I was waiting to do one of these videos. So I'm so sorry that I haven't shown this yet. Oh, how do I open this? I might just slide this. I love the wrapping. What's this? I think that's the... Oh, no. What's this? Oh, it says Learn Dutch. <laughs> very, very cool. I like that. Thank you. Um, the letter's on this side, so I won't flip that over. What's in here? Oh, tea. I love tea. Let me actually cut this because I will most likely rip it. Holy moly, there's a lot more here than just tea. And beautiful collaging. And I think you've used some magazine cutouts, which is really good to see. I love when people get creative with their crafting. All right. We've got Limpton. This one is an Earl Grey. Ooh, these look yummy. Thank you. I don't think I've tried these ones before. And then we've got some cutouts. Oh, actually, are these stickers? Oh no, they're, they're stuck onto paper. Very cute. Oh, I like the cacti ones. Very aesthetically pleasing. And then we've got some beautiful stickers. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending all these goodies. I never ask anyone to send me anything, just to clarify. But if you did want to send me a letter or anything, uh, my PO box is still open to the public um, but I do really appreciate that you guys put a lot of creative effort into these. Paw Patrol, is it? I think my nephew watches this if it's Paw Patrol. Is that Chase? I think that's Star Guys Chase. So when I go back home I visit my nieces and nephews a lot and my little three-year-old I'm pretty sure watches this show time I might actually send this to him or wait until they come around and use these stickers so I have something to do while they're over very very cute some lovely washi tape what does this say find joy in the ordinary I like that very very much <laughs> A lot of people might think stationery is ordinary and I always find the joy in crafting. Oops, some beautiful bows. Oh, this looks handmade, I think. Oh no, maybe not, there's a few of them. Oh, so cute, they're animals. I like that. And then we've got some more beautiful cutouts. 
Oh, very thoughtful, and I really like how you've put everything together. It's really lovely, and I really like the idea of, um, like, language cards. I should do Aussie slang more often, because I know there's a lot of Aussie slang. <laughs> Although we're English-speaking, there's a lot of Aussie slang that you may not get. So thank you so much. There was so much in there. I really appreciate it. Alrighty, Ruth. So this big package is from Gabby from Germany, um, and it is a Christmas package. <laughs> I think my second Christmas package this year, which is quite cool. I like that everyone's getting um, in on time. I read this at the top though. It says, "Do not open before December." So, um, sorry, December the twenty fifth, so Christmas. So I'm not going to open this one on camera. Um, I'm going to wait until Christmas. I'm actually going to be in Japan on the twenty fifth, so it will be a nice gift to come back to since I'm not having a real Christmas this year. Um, we've also got these beautiful gel pans, which I think is so lovely. And I don't have any of these colors. I actually don't have a lot of gel pens at all. So thank you so much for that. Um, I also just wanted to show you this card really quickly because it is gorgeous. And um, inside it actually made a statement about the fires and wished um, my family and I was okay for um, all the fires that are going on in Sydney, oh, all over Australia really. Um, so just to make you guys aware, um, in case anyone was generally interested, there are fires all over um, pretty much New South Wales um, and around Australia as well. They have been affecting a lot of um, farms. There's been massive droughts. Um, so if you are interested, jump on the news. Um, but pretty much every night we've had smoky skies. So the sun, you can barely see it. It's just this pinky orangey sun that you can pretty much stare directly at because the smoke is so thick. A lot of people have been having um, respiratory issues, why so a lot of people have been coughing or um, feeling ill from all the smoke in, the, in and around the um, area. Um, but just to make note, my family are all safe. I don't have anyone who's directly affected, um, but I know that there are a lot of people around um, who have just lost a lot. So um, there's lots of donations going on at the moment for anyone who have been affected with the bushfires and all the smoke around the area. Um, and yeah, in general, it's it's been doing a lot of harm to Australia. So yeah, keep your thoughts out for anyone who's going through through this um but yeah as i said um no one that i know is directly affected so i'm lucky to say that so um as i said i will open this gift on christmas so thank you so much um beautifully wrapped by the way but i did want to open this one up on camera because it looks gorgeous oh my goodness is this handmade <gasps> this looks amazing. Oops. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. Sorry, I'm just getting way too excited. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. Where do I... <gasps> this lips open. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We'll go through one by one. So, we've got some beautiful tags. I'm going to be using all of this. Oh, how pretty. I'll show you a close up now that I can do like super close up. Oops, sorry for the rocking. This is so beautiful. Oh, how pretty. Look. Oh my goodness. There's even made pockets. And more beautiful washi. This must have taken so long. I really, really appreciate this. And then this looks like a um, an insert. Do you know the um, Traveler's Notebook inserts? It looks like one of those. So we've got December Daily. Oh, how cute. I can write down all the things for Christmas. And we've got one all the way up to 24. <gasps> I might use this for next Christmas and I can do like a journal spread for Christmas just because I'm going to be way this Christmas. And I can like plan way ahead all my videos and then journal in here each day and put all my beautiful December letters in here. Oh, this is gorgeous. 
Look at all the pretty papers. Thank you so much. This is so thoughtful. It's lovely. And I've got a door or a little clip. And everything's binded, if you can see. It's sort of similar to the style that you would with the Traveller's Notebook, is you, it's the elastic bands. And again, these beautiful cards. Oh, how lovely. I can start documenting all my Christmases in here. I'm so excited. This will be my very special Christmas journal. Oh, beautiful. I think those ones are stickers. So lovely. Thank you so much. That is very, very thoughtful. I appreciate everyone sending me something this year. Um, and especially when it's handmade, I absolutely adore it even more. So thank you again for sending this. And I have two more letters to open. Um, but again, I appreciate it and beautiful. Thank you. So lucky last but very not least is these two beautiful letters from the Heritage Letter and basically it's a business that reached out to me. They let me know that they watch my videos. So I really do appreciate it. Um, and they have a subscription based service where they send out letters based on um, a historical American figure. They write a letter in the first person of um, the historian so it might be about their life um, I've only read one so far so I don't know what a lot of them are um, but it's really interesting to hear a first like a perspective from first person from um, someone great from America a historian of some sort so let me just make sure I got that right and it does make sense so basically here is the website um, and it says introducing the heritage letter let me just get a close-up on this so basically it says imagine receiving a new letter each month from someone significant from America's great past now you can subscribe monthly and basically you'll get a letter a photo or a fact card and an artifact so i thought this was such a lovely concept it's a way of learning about america's history as well as receiving a letter and you get to read a lovely story so i'll show you what's inside the two i have there's also a discount code so let me just double check um, so the discount code is my name, so B R I T T A N Y, and basically um, you get two free digital letters when you purchase any subscription package. So thank you so much, um, Julie. I really do appreciate it, and let's see what's inside. So the first one I got was Helen Keller. It does have all the information here. I don't want to give you any wrong facts, um, but it's beautiful. They've got, as they said, an artifact. And also a card here with some beautiful facts. And then the letter written in first person. Now, I have no idea what's inside this one, so I'm very, very keen to open it. Oh, I think it's two of... Oh, no, I thought it was the same one. Um, so we've got Stephen Foster. And then we've got some outline of his life. And then a beautiful song card. All right, sorry, I paused the camera because I did some Googling. I was thinking, who is Stephen Foster and why haven't I heard of him? But turns out I know all these songs very well. Um, one of the classics that a lot of people might have learned in primary school is Camp Down Races. So it's Camp Down Races, sing this song, do-da, do-da. Camp Down Races, sing this song, oh de do da day. And Oh Susanna, um, I'll play a bit of them because I'm sure you guys love to hear my beautiful singing um, but I will stop singing because it is terrible <laughs> um, so yeah as I said a lot of these songs you probably would have heard throughout primary school um, or in your earlier because they're quite they're quite famous Alright, so 
Um, you gave a good indication then. So Camden Races Oceana, um, a lot of people would have heard of those songs. And then I also Googled this one because it was the um, artifact that came with it. So the song lyrics, beautiful. Um, and you would have heard this one too. All right, although it's very beautiful, I will pause it there um, because I know I'm going to get copyrighted from these songs. Um, but yes, it's really, really interesting to hear about people's lives. I will never forget the name um, Stephen Foster again um, and his very famous songs. Um, so yeah, it's really cool to learn some more history that you may or may not have known or as for me, I've known the songs, but I just didn't know the person. So really interesting and I can't wait to read the letter. Um, as I said, it's in first person and it's written in the perspective of that person. So I won't read it out to you today just because um, if you do want to purchase it, um, I highly recommend jumping on the website and maybe getting a few letters sent to your doorstep. So thank you again. These are the two that I received in the mail. I really, really appreciate Julie for sending me these. Um, and yeah, I hope a lot of you, even if you're not um, lovers of history, um, appreciate that these figures have changed our lives um, in many different ways. Um, I'll finish the video off here. Again, thank you so much Julie and thank you so much Gabby for sending me the beautiful handmade um, journal for Christmas and everyone else who sent me a lovely letter over the last couple of months. I really appreciate everyone sending me something. Thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!